Hey guys, Marjack79 here, and it's funny, man. It's so funny. I told myself that I wasn't going to do a reaction or any like kind of review for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier TV series on Disney Plus. You know, I took it serious each episode after WandaVision. I got something out after every episode, and uh, you know, that was fun, but I really just wanted to enjoy the Falcon and Winter Soldier without the pressure of having to do a commentary on each episode so on and so forth i admit i did do that zemo dance video i couldn't help myself that fool dancing in that club was just too that was just singing my praise and i had to do something with that but it's crazy man um i uh have not gotten that emotional off of a marvel tv show or movie since you know tony you know snapped his fingers in endgame it's just i was uh i was in pure shock on how you know how it touched my soul it touched my human spirit man it really uh you know if you if you live in america it's just this country is just still just so divided you know caused by social media news outlets uh racism i mean let's not beat around the bush and just come out and say it uh police brutality you know just as just it's not it's 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 a whole lot going on in america right now and uh the falcon and the winter soldier made the conscious decision to touch on a lot of the issues that is plaguing america that has been plaguing america for the last 400 years um, i am a firm believer that we are all created equal you know black or white mexican or asian rich middle class poor we should all be treated fairly equally no matter what i mean that's just that's how i feel <laughs> it's not really a complicated science to it it's just how i feel about life in general that's how i try to lead my life that's how i try to lead my family so with that being said just the isaiah bradley's viewpoints on america in general after he you know got out of his 30 year prison sentence you know it really touched me in a way to the point to where i definitely understood his frustrations with america it's so crazy because it's not like this story is actually real but i know that similar situations have happened to people of color like this before you know where else would the motivation or the ideas would have come from it had to come from somewhere you know what i'm saying so just to see that you know presented in a comic book you know style tv show was very it was very powerful it was very very powerful i'm you know very impressed by the message that they were attempting to present and uh, it was very good tv watching experience you know i was really enjoying myself you know i was i feel like i did a good job by not letting myself get too consumed by it and not bringing out those emotions onto social media platforms like other people they will remain nameless i almost went through and um, <laughs> copied and screen captured a lot of the comments that really had an issue with uh, isaiah bradley's viewpoint on the country but I didn't want to do that. So like I said, I'm not recapping the previous five episodes. I'm not even recapping this episode. I'm just trying to explain the title of the video, or why I was so emotional by the end of this episode. And just the the way that Sam was able to turn Isaiah's heart to just express that that raw emotion of gratitude of seeing his statue, you know, and his memory, you know, plastered in the museum right next to Steve, you know, that, I don't know, man, that just did something to my, it touched my soul, it touched my mind in a way that I can barely, that I'm still trying to find the words to explain, it was just, you know, it, I know like a, a whole lot of people don't really on a regular basis express a love for America, you know, because it's just done so much to people of color. But 
I'm here to tell you, man, that the majority of us do love this country. We love it here. It's just that, you, you know, I think the best, you know, way that I've heard somebody explain it is that it's like an uncle that took us in and took care of us, but it, he kind of like abused us during childhood. And you, but he still like took care of us though. And even now, you know, he still kind of abuses us a little bit, even into like adulthood, but he still like takes care of us though. That's probably the best analogy of America and minorities that I've ever heard. But aside from, from that, just the emotion and just, just the losing his, his control of his anger, just after seeing his memorial, not even a memorial, obviously, because he's still alive, but just seeing the raw emotion of him after holding on to that anger for so long is so, it's so cool that Sam was able to bring that out of him after taking on the mantle of Captain America or just seeing Sam give that speech after the final battle with Carly and him getting on the news camera and explaining to the Senator why, you know, Carly even existed in the first place and how, you know, if you don't treat people equally, then this is how, terrorist groups are started this is how violence is incited and this is how you know the problems arise you know it's not by accident that you know organizations like this form you know organizations like this form in real life too it's not it's not an accident you know things are caused by government agencies that cause you know, organizations to formulate and fight back against it, you know, and some of those tactics are unfortunately uh, extravagant to the point where extreme measures need to be taken to stop them. But, you know, if the everybody, if everybody was treated equally, then maybe those organizations wouldn't have needed to be formed in the first place. So even with all that said, just this show ended up being just a well-balanced nourishment for my patriotic spirit and i am forever grateful for it um just the transition of sam becoming or coming from the falcon persona to accepting the role as captain america yeah oh i would not have wanted this story to be told in any other fashion i'm glad they presented it in a six episode series instead of a movie you know, Captain America 4 has already been announced, obviously, because, you know, I mean, it was it was a brilliant show. It was a really good show. It kind of started off slow, but man, did it hit the nail right on the head by the end of it, man. And I am so excited to see the continued adventures of Sam Wilson and Bucky the white wolf in captain america you know personally i wouldn't even mind going back in time and seeing an isaiah bradley story of him and his prime either man i feel like that would be a really cool you know story to be told on screen as well maybe we can get like a two or three episode you know short series of the isaiah bradley story i feel like that would be super sweet what do you guys think? Comment below what you think about that, man. Now, of course, now I've seen in the comments of people just still just spewing out the hatred of just Isaiah Bradley and Sam becoming Captain America, even though it is strictly canon in the the comic book, the origin of the comic book and the movies. Uh, I don't I just don't understand why. <laughs> <laughs> why just why man just is is the show good is the is the movie good then okay then just let it let it play out man just let it play out it's okay it's gonna be okay man i promise it's funny i can already see memes being made of like when girls cried when jack died on the titanic kids cried when i don't know you take their candy away or something but men cried when isaiah bradley embraced sam wilson as the new captain america <laughs> I love it, man. I really do. So, all right. That's going to do it, man. So, hopefully you appreciated my heartfelt video. I just had to get these thoughts out onto video form. I was just thinking about it all day. I had to get it out, man. So, as always, if you like the video, do me a favor. Hit that like button. 
You can also support the channel by hitting that notification bell icon so that you'll know whenever I upload the video. And go ahead and subscribe to the video, man. You can yeah, subscribe to the video. Jesus Christ. Subscribe to the channel. You can follow me at youtube.com slash smartjack79. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Promise I got toy reviews coming up, man. You know, just been busy. And as always, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.